What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, everybody? Uh, you know who it is by the intro. And uh, as always, I bought my sidekick, the proverbial Robin to Batman. Good luck, Jonathan. And Jonathan, you want to come in here in four, three, two, one? Here he comes. There he is. And he's wondering a lot like me. Well, today we're going to talk about a real touchy subject that everybody has has an opinion on. And I figure I might as well give my two cents on. Today we're going to talk about in four, three, two, one. We're going to talk about Old Glory Down South Thunder. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the Confederate flag of the South. Now, recently, South Carolina, the governor, I guess, the, what they voted in their Congress and their, Senate and their legislation to take out the Confederate flag because they said it represents a long standing policy towards racism. Now, being me from north, up north, I, I, the only way I knew about it, like my friends from down south, and let me tell you something, people. There are black people who don't want this flag to leave who are from down south. Let's put it that way. Let's, let's put that on the table, number one. So, But uh, as, as a northerner, I, I can't really uh, identify with them doing this. You know what I mean? Because like, we don't have our own northern. You know what I mean? Because whenever we were in the north, we fought under the stars and stripes. So we don't have our own quote-unquote quote, quote, flag per se. Uh, outside of the stars and bars, I mean the stars and stripes. But uh, as far as this goes, I just always wondered as a northerner, how come people who never lived down south and always lived above the Mason-Dixon line, I knew what that was about when they flew these on, when they put them stickers on their car, they flew the flag. They always wanted to say they were rebels. I'm like, none of your family members are from down south. I knew what that was about. But I'm talking about, and that's the problem. See, you got these right-wing weirdos and wackos who, like, like I said, nine people died in, in uh, Charleston, and the wacko used this, the, the, the Confederate flag, as a symbol of hatred. But see, me personally, I don't, it, it, it's, I don't get all caught up in the flag because a flag cannot take away anything from me. The flag is not, it's, it's just the material to me. Like I said, I'm not from down south, so it has no connection to me. But I can see how folks, black, white, red, and brown, have a connection to the flag because, like I said, it's theirs. But the fact remains is, so what? So what? So, what's the big deal about a Confederate flag coming down? Ask yourself, what's the big deal? Mind you, when all this is going on, we had a bunch of major stories that were on and popping. We had, we had the passing of the TPP. The Trans-Pacific, you know, pact. We had homosexual gay marriage, the ruling on that. We had China going to belly up, which y'all didn't really realize about that. You had Greece, and you have a couple others. Now, see, is the Confederate flag that much of a worry to you compared to China and Greece going to belly up, which will affect you down the road? Or when the IMF tells the feds and tells the states to put our economy in a notch because we're growing too fast of a rate? Too fast of a clip for other countries. What, what the Confederate flag is, it's 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 the old trick. They go, they show the monkeys a shiny trinket, and the monkeys not worried about the problem behind the trinket. The, the monkeys only worry about the shiny new trinket. And that, that's what all it is. It's just a distraction tactic. I mean, I could care less about the Confederate flag controversy. I mean, if the people want the flag, let them have the flag. It's their flag. I'm more worried about the stories that you didn't hear, you didn't talk about, which you, and which you're gonna cry about later. Because when it does affect you, you're gonna have to, you're gonna, you're gonna say something then. But I didn't, I didn't get caught up in the chick climbing the, the pole and taking the flag down. Yippee whippy, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're gonna, if you're gonna make a big case about my own people died, and like God forbid that happens again. How many people have actually died, white and black? To have the Confederate flag flying. Have you ever asked yourself that? Yes, blacks fought in the South for the Confederate flag. But the fact remains, you get these liberals and, you know, and, and you can't think outside the box around here. But as far as the Confederate flag, I think, I think it's just, it's, 
it's a no offense, it's a false flag. <laughs> it's pretty ironic me saying that, but that is what it is. Like I said, you had all them passing, all them things passing. You had all the, you had all that uh, distraction. Like I said, Greece, China, even they, they didn't even want to report China going down the going down the tubes, but China went down the tubes. And what have you heard about that? Have you heard anything about China? No, you haven't. Why? China's our biggest debtor. So. I mean, you people have to actually ask for it yourself. And like I tell you, do your own research about what I'm saying. I'm not lying to you. But what, what sense of, where does where does it get me to lie? It doesn't get me anywhere. So I'm out of here. Like I said, the Confederate flag, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, it was just a false flag. So I hope you guys have a good one. All right, stay in touch. Peace.